Hello, and welcome to my channel about IB psychology. Um, today I'm going to explain a study called Maguire from a biological approach. Now, the key understanding of this experiment is that it showed that hippocampus plays a role in people's memory. So in IB psychology, they require you to know what hippocampus is. However, you're not expected to explain an exact brain structure and it's okay if you don't know where the hippocampus is. Just remember that its major role is learning and memory. So now basically what happened is that researchers took two groups, male taxi drivers and normal people. The non-taxi drivers group is called controlled group as we're comparing the results to them. The London taxi drivers had this job for many years, and then their brain was scanned using MRI. Scientists found much more grey matter in drivers' brains. It is because in that time there were no online maps, no navigation, and they had to remember all the roads in London by themselves in their brains, which is memory. Because they have been memorizing London streets for so long, it led them to have more gray matter in the hippocampus compared to the controlled group. So now in terms of limitations, IB really wants you to know that it is a nature-nurture debate. What is it? Well, basically it makes you question if their brain changed after they became taxi drivers, or is it the original biological structure of the brain with a bigger amount of gray matter in hippocampus led them to choose this job and then become uh, taxi drivers. So for other limitations, as a scanning, te scanning technique was used, it is quite reliable, sample was quite small, and also all participants were male, so the results could be different for female participants. Now that's it, you can use the study for brain scanning techniques and neuroplasticity, so it's quite useful and easy study to use on your exam. Okay, see you next video.